Hello, hello, good evening everybody, good evening my fans, my followers, it's a little late sir, mm -hmm. I didn't finish up on time, like I said, my name is Adam Miri, congrats, ancient lady, mm -hmm. uh, ancestors, smiles, peace, uh, <laughs> you guys are so if I even awake, are you serious? <laughs> uh, pimple lady, mm -hmm. ugly lady, mm -hmm. what did they call again? Mm -hmm. Poor lady, mm -hmm. um, rude lady. Mm -hmm. They have many, many names they call me. But once again, I'm still there. That means you can never change anything, can never change me. So my only page is this page is my only page. I don't have two page or three page. They have many fake accounts. My pictures, my video is not me. Be careful of them. My only number zero eight zero thirty four thirteen one thousand. Drop your message there. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so 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 much. I love you guys so much. So I want to explain things. But before that, hmm? let me tell you something you have to understand. Mm -hmm. This journey of life, you are alone. It's hard to see anything that the universe put on you. Eh? For the universe to put that inside of you, they knew that you carry it. One thing about you is courage and to determine to focus. Nobody, you didn't attach to anybody. Never allow somebody to tell you without them you can't exist. It's pure lies. Never allow somebody. I know I'm saying this thing now. Never allow somebody to tell you without them you can't exist. Without them you can't eat. Without them you can't see anything. Without them you can't make up yourself. Without them. You can never be what the universe wants you to be. Your own chi wants you to be. That person is lying. You didn't attach to anybody. One thing about you is determination and focus. Believe that you, particular, you can do it. That's how to do it. And anything, any growth requires pains. You can't just grow like that. It requires pains. So anything that that makes you to grow, like anything, mm -hmm. like let's say it, anything that was successful, must be like this, this. People things that come easy. No, normally get success. No, normally get happiness on on at last. So let's talk about this uh, ankle. Why the ladies wear ankle, ankle bead, or chain? And African, eh? I buy African reason so bad. If we start to change our mentality, eh? We have even solved our problem half. But we have another mentality on by one and we think anyhow. Not any not every lady that wear ankle is a shower. Not every lady that wear ankle bead no in the leg and so no cause new cloud mamali nigu people that put bead on the leg see ladies you call them a shower it's not good it's not every lady that wear bead on her leg is a shower you move that mentality I will after this talk I will also post pictures to, to show you guys something Ancient people in Uncle Bid is where they know a rich lady. Go and make research here and now. Again. It's Uncle Bid. Mm -hmm. That time they don't know anything about chain. Is this a buffer? Right? What happened to a buffer that forged chain uh, bead? The chain leg, leg, uh, whatever. But ancient people, bead is how they know rich lady. Any lady that is rich from her leg, what she put on, 
the bead she put on on her leg you know leech lady that is how they know a lady from the lawyer family i will say take take you something because the world has changed you not with the way you talk and the way you put and any girl any woman they in the olden days that called herself s and y used to have bead on her two leg because she's working for deity that is why some ladies don't know that putting bead on two leg is an extraordinary thing but even people we don't we know sabi anything people we know we know even they work for splits people don't know even qualify to wear it are wearing it now and some of them are bringing problem to themselves have you ever imagined yourself as a lady you wear two bead in ankle leg you start something that will start entering inside like you start feeling so pompous and pride you know any lady you see putting a bead on the two leg are working for deity they have extra power that is what is signified so you know what you do put you will reason them for yourself not that my auntie puts i go put my friend puts i go put be careful then any ankle like right like ankle a uh, bead shows that because this this ankle we are talking about it, it shows something the if you are wearing bead on the right uh, leg show that you are still available you are not married only right ankle shows that you are available you are not married you are a married woman wearing a chain only your right hand shows that you are available for any man wearing in your left hand like right hand shows single when your left hand showed you you are married or you have a lover you have someone in your life but the two leg wearing this bead in the two legs shows that you even more you you are working for deity you have powers so know it but these days now and they come and go tell you something these days now we have changed everything before like before you see an indian girl wear to wear a bead on her leg watch her leg you see how if you used to see it at the right hand that means she's available then they used to watch it too you want to tell so they watch your leg and see what you are wearing to know whether you are still single african eh our ladies they wear bead even if we know we know sabi girls they wear they wear bead two legs people when they even they mind the ones are even wearing the right one someone will call you a shower we say they call me a we are still available now we're not yet married so another thing i want to tell you right now so because out of our generation like and babatin. Some ladies wearing an uh, ankle bead. Some of them are putting charm there. Make I tell you na something. That's some of the ankle bead, which are those chain one. Some of them are not what you think they are. They will just put it on. All those rust girl, they will get in men, they, they, they love it. It's no more they gain ankle bead. Is just full of charm because it's not nobody's keeping the rules they gave me and you we are not keeping rules we are no more keeping rules some of them will wear it because mm -hmm. how they are hunting they are hunting for men they are put charm inside that thing because everybody's not uh, uh, with us I don't know everybody's not deciding his own life the way they want it I am as in Salah. But all in days, any girl putting bead on the left hand means she's getting married or she have a lover. Right hand, she's just single. And the other thing, any family putting chain, putting a very expensive bead means they are royal family. They are, she's a rich lady. It's not bad. They used to like to know a lady that time. 
but now everything has changed. If I is a wine, you jamma is a wine. In out by an album, if you watch her two legs, you will know that this lady is an is a wine. She's working for deity. Because I will see pick a day to teach you now. Maybe I go put them in this teaching. Whatever you're calling yourself as a wine, you know the meaning of as a wine calling yourself. You are worshipping a day like you are worshipping a deity. It's an honor. Then you put shame. One leg and one leg. But now everything has changed. Some even carry hundred chain put for two legs. Okay, okay. You are no more obeying anything, and everybody is deciding what they want. Mm. Yes. Mm. So know you today. Mm. Chain let let chain is no more what they think it is. We are deciding anything we want. If you are keeping loss, that is how it's supposed to be. Or in there's no anything about a uh, ring now. From that chain, from that bead, they will know whether you are married or not. Whether you're a rich girl or not, whether you're a royal family or not, whether you're as a wife or no as a wife, from that your leg. But now, even uh, everybody they put shame, even the people that know the reason or no reason, nobody they put people that 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 that, that notice about this uh, uh, ankle bead, they still understand it. That is why some of them wear it, they'll just call you a shower. Because the leg you are wearing it, they call you a shower. You say, ah, why do you call me a shower? What the mean of that? Because you don't know what the place you are wearing it. But right now, ah, mm. so they wear it anyhow. So another thing I want to tell you guys tonight is that I have been seeing some message on WhatsApp. I see it all the time. Please, Makayota, be careful of this calling. If you are never called, if you are never called, they have many types of calling. Number one, some people are called only to dream it's going to pass. Is calling. Some people are called mm -hmm. only to dream it's come to pass. Doesn't mean that you are called to work on people. Some people are called for counseling. That doesn't mean you will liberate people from captivity. Some people are called only to see vision, but they can't work on people. Some people are called only to treat people, but they can't work on people. Some people are called only to hear voices. They can't work on people. Mm -hmm. Everything I'm talking about is getting a calling. What is your calling? Any calling you have takes time to grow in you. Don't tell yourself the calling you have. If you are not destined to work on people to lead them from captivity, you can never get that power. Stop seeking power. That you can know that you can never get. As a lady, me and her chatting on Guinea WhatsApp. This lady has gone and brought up her, uh, they call it water people. That's how she says it. Uh, daughter, small daughter, she, she went and did an hour. She went and did almost everything. She not called me on WhatsApp telling me that. She's not seeing anything. She's not hearing anything. That she don't know where she will start her calling. I laugh. I slide back. I ask her, let me check about you. What about yourself? 
Then I'm telling me that this lady don't have a car. Why? That's those she need she need to go and settle on manji. Let me I na only on manji. Now why should she go and they will punish her for doing that? And I ask the girl, why do you go beyond this? Why do you go and start? Because I don't understand. Why do you go and say that she's on a one G? A one G has many. A one G doesn't mean that you work on people. Understand? Stop putting yourself inside the problem. If you are not called, Musisha is also calling. Engineers is also calling. Doctors are also calling. They have many calling. It doesn't mean that you will start doing what you're not supposed to do. This lady has gone beyond. And that thing that she did will turn back against her. That is why people will finish everything they are doing. All they are calling. Whatever. Settle all those things. Even settle their, their spirit. Settle everything. But still yet, no show. Ask yourself a question. Am I called to do this? Some people, if you see them, only they have no their chi. What are people? We see them. They start doing marvelous things. If you are called for this journey, it's inside of you. It's inside of inside of you. You don't need anything like you don't even need much thing to attach your destiny. Because that calling will keep on calling you. Make you not understand what I mean. People that are really called to save you from captivity always run away from this calling. Because they know that their powers is too much. Don't put yourself into danger. This girl now, eh? I know that like they say that she's suffering. That girl is suffering too much. Her husband notices her ass from the, from the, from the your, your husband has. Business don't collapse. She went and starts doing everything without having the authority to do to do that. She wasn't called. But they took her a wanji. A wanji some a wanji. Do they mean that you, you, you must work on people? Or does it mean that you go and gather everything? Because let me tell you, tradition also need the wise people. It's not everywhere you enter when it's not right time to enter. It's not everything that you do when you're right time to do. It's not everything that you bring inside your home when it's not calling you. Because there's something that you would do. It will backfire you. Be wise on time. If you don't have a call to work on people, stay clear for your life. Because you are putting yourself in the Guinea forever danger. She's crying day by day. This lady is not divorced. Her sheep don't fall inside her. She wasn't called to work on people. She's doing it. It's even herself. I'm talking to you soon now. What is your calling? Are you called to work on people? Or are you forcing yourself to work on people? If you are forcing yourself, nobody you will do work for will get testimony. If you are forcing self, nothing you will do in this calling unless you want to go and put charm. And that thing has expiring dates. Be careful of gaining. I know my calling. I want to start off this thing. Don't force yourself. If you are listening to me, allow them to start coming for you. Hope you are getting me tonight because this person that has damaged some of her life now, you need another thing to start recovering herself. She don't know what she did. If you are called for this journey, your calling will keep on calling you. It's only water you give someone and speak on that person. That person will get testimony. Only teaching you teach. That person will get testimony. Only calling the person name to do ritual. That person will get testimony. Stop forcing yourself what you are not. You are destroying yourself. Hope I'm talking to someone. Be careful. Tradition, Ordinana, is not like Guinea. 
<laughs> a easy job or easy way it requires wisdom because there is something that you will do you will bring a damage to your destiny be careful know who you are know your calling focus on that don't put yourself what you are not i'm still there damn mirio this one say how do i know my calling first of all to know your calling number one it's keep it will keep on calling you you will see start seeing sign this is what i call to do even you you start running away from your calling people that are called wrong because <laughs> it's not easy it's never a it's never an easy journey you deny yourself many things you will deny yourself many things you go do like this people that are called you to run away from calling if you are called you know it by gaining keep on coming science is another second thing to know this one say i have suffered enough i don't know what to do i am confused i don't get this question is it a question you are you're asking me or what this one is not a question no much question you know it's almost late so to summarize this topic today is guinea any girl wearing ankle doesn't mean she's a shower not all the girl wearing ankle is a shower stop thinking that all of them are shower ankle signify loyalty it signify guinea marriage it signifies single it signify culture it wasn't mean that any girl wearing ankle bead is an ashaw. Mark it today. Second one is gaining. Don't force yourself what you are not. Know your calling and focus on that. Mark and doggy. <laughs> Once again, I'm seeing that that baby, author of the sea, congrats and call it a one point. Tomorrow, I will see announce the time I will do comfort teaching for you guys to learn and practice. All the best. I love you guys so much. It's late. I didn't come on time. I was so busy. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Bye.